Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another good video for you guys. So I've been lacking a little bit on that pro gameplay. So as you guys know, every Sunday there is the NA Open and you know, win or loss, I'm always going to be posting it. I like showing you guys. One week, unfortunately, I could have posted due to the fact that I was disappointed in my play when we lost. So I just grinded the entire night and I was like, okay, now time to record. And I look at my battle log and I'm like, oh wait, I'm, I'm dumb. I just, it's out of my battle log now. But anyways, what we're going to be doing is, as usual, myself and OG are going to get into a call, and we're going to talk about the NA Open, talk about where we lost, where we won, uh, talk about our comps, talk about how we out comp, how we got out comped, our rationale behind kills, why we died, etc, etc. Just going to give as pro analysis as we can, and as much as a view into our heads as we can for these games. So without further ado, let's hop into the call with OG, and let's get into this first game. All right, so they did change a few of the maps up, but you can see we're starting off on Snake Prairie again. Bounty is the first mode, obviously. And this time you can see the comps are a little different. That's because there's bans. So our team actually banned, I think it was BB, right, Bobby? Yeah, BB. Yeah, BB. And then they banned, of course, Rosa because, you know, there's definitely going to be a Rosa or Jean ban or Carl. Um, so you can see we're starting off pretty solid. Got a first kill um, and grabbed the star too. Yeah, so basically what we're doing right now is just trying to feel out what they're trying to do. And obviously with the bow mines and with the Brock Super, what we're going to be doing since we have the lead is just eliminating lanes for them to come down so we can kind of understand where they're going to be coming from and we're going to be able to defend them properly. Yeah, so without a Broza, we can definitely just kind of like isolate the map more and by breaking like all the grass open, um, you know, we'll always have a really good idea where they are. So the major threat to us is definitely the gene pull though. So we definitely have to watch out for that. Right, so you can see Squashy gets that pull over there and unfortunately he's not able to finish it. But also fortunately for us, Chepo is going to miss his pull. Uh, I'm going to miss my super over there, but we do have them in a pretty good position outside of OG who's going to be like left stranded, I guess, on his own. Feels bad, man. But um, I got a little too ambitious there, I guess. And, you know, I get some. Uh, but unfortunately, Eric takes out Jack, too. But I mean, we're up right now, eight to five. And you can see, that's why we have both. Those mines are doing like work. Right. So a great pull over there by Squashy. And at this point, there is only one entrance point for them. And it's on the very right side, which we can easily see. Uh, Bo having that extra vision is also super clutch. And they're just not able to get to us at this point since the map is totally open. Yeah, now we don't want to back up too early because that's like literally the only way we could lose this. Um, so you'll see I'm like staying up high and then Crying Man, he's forced to go in there. But um, yeah, pretty solid start from us. Yeah, that's going to end the first game in a pretty dominating win for us. Right. Hee <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here we go into the second bounty game, and we're going to be running close to mirror comps, except the only difference is instead of a Piper, they're going to have a Gene. So they're going to double up the mid on OG over here, and OG's going to get a little bit too aggressive, which you rarely see from OG, and he's actually going to go down straight away. And so I'm going to move towards the middle, and OG's just going to be coming back up, and we're going to be trying to take position on them. You hate to see it, man. Um, but I did manage to grab the star, so obviously not a good play, but... Um... You know, wasn't totally worthless, I guess. We're getting pushed back pretty hard here, so <clears throat> there's a minute and 30 seconds left. We don't need to rush anything, but we're, definitely not the start we were going for. Right, so right now OG gets pulled over there. You know, you, you're not normally seeing OG die a lot. He's already died twice this game. So, you know, we're just getting into it over here, kind of feeling the other team out. I feel like at the start, they do have a little bit of a superior comp just because it's more mid range. And this isn't as much as a long range map as most bounty ones. So you're going to see myself and OG start to break walls during the course of this game to try and give us an advantage. In my defense, I had a fever and I'm pretty sure I was hallucinating. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you can see we're like slowly moving up the right side. Bobby gets like a nice pull. Um, and I managed to tap Crying Man when he's trying to get away. <clears throat> right, so Squashy's gonna get a kill on Eric, but also as he's dying, Eric's gonna get that kill on Squashy. So we're now down two stars. Um, at this point, Crying Man's coming down the right side, and OG knows he's there. So he's gonna not hit him once, not hit him twice, but he's gonna hit him three times for the triple tap. And that's gonna tie the game up with 30 seconds left. Yeah, and just like plays like that, that's 
for just the burst damage is insane. And once it's all open up and, you know, the Carl and the Barley aren't as effective as they were at the start of the game, you can definitely make some plays happen. Right, so Chepo's gonna miss his pull on Squashy, and Eric's gonna get a little too over aggressive, so I'm just gonna be able to pull Eric over there. You're gonna see a little bit of BM from OG on the bottom, even though he did die a bit this game. And that's gonna wrap up this game, and we're gonna take the bounty set. Okay, so we took the bounty set, um, close games. But gem grab is definitely this team's strong suit. Um, we're also pretty solid at it. So you'll see us always do like this double up on the lane on this map particularly. I really like it and you know, it's not like too great against their comp. So you'll see, we don't get the result that we want. So we're kind of like forced. I want to go out in the mid and just like, so we're not just, you know, completely abandoning one lane. And I do manage to take Eric out. Right, so good work over there by taking out OG. You know, the start wasn't looking very good for us with had them having like the left wing lane one and also not much work being done on the double lane but og was able to take out eric which definitely gave us some really good positioning so at this point you can see basically everyone's chipping for super but Kryman is left unattended at that left lane over there so og is slowly going to make his way over there yeah so squashy picks up his super which is like really huge on this map um he didn't use it there bobby gets uh pulled you know definitely outplayed Oh, and then I have to come in and carry. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough gas to get out of there, so I did all that I could, you know? It's just up to Bobby at this point to start picking it up. Right, so Chepo did go invisible and we weren't aware where he was, but for some reason he did pick up a gem, so Squashy was able to react and get a double pull over there. I have my super, and although I could get a pull on them right now, just the fact that I have my super is causing them a lot of issues. They can't really get out of spawn. You can see Cryman has to be all the way deep, deep into their spawn and where I can't hit him. And basically all of them are just afraid to come up. So at this point, I'm just standing here with my super, not planning to shoot it at all, just taking my time. Yeah, we could like stand here all day. The only way they're getting out would be um, if Jack got a super or Eric got a pull. But nice play from Squashy and Bobby there. Uh, good teamwork to take them out. And, you know, we're looking pretty good at this point. Yeah, so at that point, we got the team wipe as a squad. Um, I'm just going to go into the back left. At this point, I've just dropped my phone. The game's basically over. You can see OG is trying to pick up another couple kills, Squashy as well. And that's going to be the end of the first gem grab game. Okay, so going into the second gem grab game, we're currently up 1-0. And we're going to be running a mirror comp. There isn't much that you can run uh, diversity-wise on this map. And Squashy being a really good uh, Barley and them having a couple good Barleys on their team, they're obviously going to be running that. And Carl's just... Carl and Jean, just a broken mid in the broken lane, so that's the reasoning behind the comps that we're going to be running. So you can see OG's getting a little bit backed off by Eric over there, so he's going to make his way towards the middle so he can start applying some pressure to the mid, which ultimately is going to help me and Squashy a lot for winning our lanes. Yeah, so it's definitely really hard to deal with a Barley um, at the start of this map. And, you know, Eric's a good Barley too, so that's definitely tough. Um, but once I start getting my super, good finish from Bobby there to help me out. I definitely needed it. Um, but once I get positioned and I get my super, I can kind of like chain it. And from then on, it gets like a lot more easier. Right, so at this point, I have my super and I see they're both in a bush. So I just shoot at that bush. I know I'm going to hit one of them and I'm just going to spray one more time. After taking out Eric, and I'm going to get my super right back. So it's kind of just like a game right now between me and Chepo, seeing who can bait each other's super first or who can hit the super first, which is really going to impact this game a lot. Yeah, so nice pull from Bobby again on Eric. He's just picking on him at this point. Um, and you'll see me start like heading towards the mid a little bit and just like grabbing a few gems when I can. That's just because, you know, gene pulls are like so 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 impactful so if you're carl or like you know barley is like a little squishier so you don't want him to pick him up as much but carl like can definitely like pick up two to three gems right a gene does not want to pull a carl so really high iq plays by og to pick up a couple gems because gene meta it's it's really unpredictable chepo can hit a pull on me and the entire game can be over so good plays by og to pick up a couple gems so that the game won't just end off of one pull yeah, so this game's pretty much even at this point too. You can see it's kind of a stalemate all around. Um, a lot of it's going to come down to gem spawns right now. So I'm also looking for them to overextend a little bit. Unfortunately, Bobby just misses his pull. Yeah, so OG's going to do a really good job over there by, by spinning in at the same time as Squashy uses his super. They're both going to be pretty low and on top of the gene pinches or pokes and OG shots and Squashy shots, they're not going to be able to regen at all. 
we're going to be able to take all of them out. And Chepo's just going to come down the side with his super. I'm going to be able to pin, uh, pinch him a couple times, be able to get my super and pull him. And it's just going to be a win for us over here. Yeah, nice pull from Bobby to secure the win. Okay, so Rolling Rumble, um, you can see Mirror Comps. This is definitely the strong comps considering the bands. Uh, usually you want to play a Rosa here. But, um, you know, we both have really good Barleys, really good Curls, and really good Bulls. So we kind of anticipated this comp from one another. Right, so basically it's going to be a stalemate at the start until someone's able to pick up a kill on a lane or something. You can see OG and Eric are being pretty passive on that side, so no one's really going to win anything. Over here, Eric does spin, and he's just able to kill me, but luckily OG's able to pick up that kill. And Squash is doing a great job holding the bull back, in which I abandoned, so really good play by him. Yeah, so we're just kind of feeling each other out here. As long as the Barley doesn't get too high positioning, I think everyone's fine. Bobby manages to pick up his super first and get that early safe damage, and he also breaks a hole in the wall, which is definitely going to help us out later on. Right, so unfortunately, we weren't able to take out Crying. Squash, did miss his last bottle on him, so it's going to let him regen and get a little bit of extra damage on the safe, but really good play by OG to do like 2k damage to Crying Man and Eric, and then go over to be able to pick up the kill on Chepo. Yeah, so the main thing you always want to do if you're a Carl is keep the Barley off safe. Now this goes for Siege too, especially on defense, because um, Barley is the DPS mainly, besides Bull of course, so you always want to keep an eye on him. Right, so at this point we're down like 40%. There was a really good play over there by Crywin to go onto the safe when only Squashy was back. So at this point we have to play super, super defensive. We kind of just have to make sure that they don't win lane and that we don't they don't push us far back enough to where they can just chip at the safe and they aren't going to be able to finish the game. Yeah, so really tough position for us. I managed to take out the Barley, but doing so I let Crywin push up a little bit. And, um, you know, it's a really awkward position for us right now. So I definitely want to get on the bull and see if I can take him out. But it's not looking too good for the boys. Right. We're in a position right now where if we can't, if we charge their super, they're going to be able to win the game. But at the same time, if they push us back too much, they're also going to be able to win the game. So at this point, there's not much we can do besides try and pinch away and see if we can get like a lucky super or two and be able to get a couple kills. But at this point, it's obviously really not looking good for us. Yeah, so Eric pushing up, he can ship safe from there. Uh, 15 seconds left. I just kind of go for the YOLO here. If I take him out, odds are I can't do that much damage, but you know, you might as well try at the end of the game. Okay, so going into the second heist game, that was the first game we dropped, and we're gonna be down one in the heist set. This is the last set that we need to wrap it up. So we're gonna go with the double tank Brock. Originally, we were gonna run what they were running, but then we realized with the Rosa and BB ban, that double tank really didn't have a good counter to it, especially with the Brock on our side. So we thought we had a really big advantage with the comp that we just pulled out. Yeah, now Barley is really good for damaging safe, but we can kind of just snowball after we get a kill and they don't really have anything to clear us with. So you'll see they'll definitely struggle with taking us out the longer the game goes on. Right, you can see uh, Barley usually goes on that left side, but Crying Man actually was able to pick up a kill. I mean, not pick up a kill, sorry, was able to dash through that left side, which made the made a hole there. And now the Barley just has absolutely nowhere to go, so OG was able to take him out. And now, just on this, uh, at this point, we're just on the aggression, and there's absolutely nothing they can do. Yeah, the only thing that can, like, push us back right now would be a Barley super, but even that, it's not killing any of us so once Bobby goes in Squashy gets a super 2 they can just be nuisances in there and like they don't have the DPS to take us out. Right so I was able to kill the two squishies uh, OG's just firing the safe and that's gonna wrap it up really quickly it took a little bit over a minute but that's gonna be the end of the second heist game. So unfortunately, uh, shout out to Eric he's a really really good player and he doesn't play the game enough he, he's super super talented but he wasn't able to compete in the last game. Their sub was busy at the moment, so he had to forfeit that last heist game. Um, I did want to add it into the video, but OG did lose a 1v1 Colt to Chepo after. I'm not going to add it in because OG was a little bit sick, so we're going to give him a pass on that one. But that's that's going to be it. That's going to wrap up the video. So it's going to be our third win in the NA Open. So, so far we're at a 50% win rate, which is super, super good. Um, I think in these tournaments alone, we've made I think double the money of the second closest team. So we're really happy with our performance and we're, we feel like we're playing really solid, but there still is a couple weeks left to go. So hopefully we can win both of those 
and really get place our mark on the NA scene. So with that being said, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed these type of videos, again, let me know. If you guys want to see me do collabs like this with a bunch of other pro players, you know, no matter what country, like, I, I, I'm pretty friendly with basically all the pros, so if you guys name a couple that you guys want to see, I can definitely hop into a voice chat and start playing with them, talking to them, discussing strategies, etc. But that's going to be it. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you didn't, let me know in the comments below. That's going to be it. I will catch you guys later. Peace.